Hello YouTube, how are you people? It's your boy Kevin Gannett. Me and my daughter Taylor's hanging out in front of a uh, off-Broadway shoe warehouse. Lena and Bobby went inside there real quick. We came to Sawgrass Mall, we're gonna do a little shopping. I need to get myself sneakers. My sneakers are absolutely disgusting. So I'm gonna go in Reebok, it's not too far from here. Try to get myself some shoes. Tomorrow is my niece's birthday, Skylar. Happy birthday, Skylar. So we're gonna go try to get some outfits, try to get some uh, things for her birthday, maybe even a present or two while we're here. It's possible. We're gonna probably go eat something nice and uh, we'll see what happens from there. So sit back, relax. You guys are watching G Vlog. You're holding my hand. Why well, come your daddy? I'm your father. What do I wish you? Ew, I hate Crocs. Do you see mama? There she is. Did you find something, daughter? You look so cute. These ones, I don't like the way the front of them was. And this, it yeah, looks like seven womanly. Minutes. And then this one, there's too many holes. Yeah. It's like ugly. 100%. But then I agree with look you. at how nice these are. Those are nice. They are in the snow. Why? There's no black stripe on it, though. I don't know, but I like that better. It's an all white. Let me try those on because those don't look the same style. Where's the style that hurt my feet? Here. This is the one that hurts my feet, right? Yeah. Okay, this, now this, this one looks more comfortable. Narrow. Yeah, that one looks a lot better. Let's try that one. This one is more like a regular Nike but yeah. it like I agree. Ooh, I like that back too. And That's it's nice. Nicer. No, what do you need? 11? Uh, no, I need a 12 and a half or a 13. Good. <laughs> so now you won't get hurt today. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, we went in a shoe store a couple times and Bobby like always something fell on her head for some reason <laughs> like a shoe box or like uh, what, what fell on her head a little shoe cleaner <laughs> everything in the shoe store we do a thing now when we walk in the shoe store we just hit her head with something real slow so this, that way nothing else will hit her head this one looks a little bit like too big they look the same size to me no but look at the difference oh my god how ugly these shoes are look how clean this one is oh wow that was nice Wow, what a sneaker. We'll have to break it in a little bit. It feels like a little, like still the same kind of Adidas feeling where it's squeezing the foot a little bit. She's loosening the shoelaces because I said it was squeezing my foot and she really wants me to get the sneakers. <laughs> So we just left the uh, off-Broadway, whatever it's called, going in Reebok now. Gonna see what we could get in this store. Brand new store, was never there yet. Let's check it out. These little stickers usually tell you, like right here, it says this item is excluded from promotion. Yeah, so this store is not having any kind of stuff. They're usually just a clearance rack and stuff. All right, basically nothing. So we're most likely gonna be getting those Adidas that we see. Should we get Bobby a sneaker for tomorrow too? So I could see it's gonna be one of those days again where I'm just not gonna find a great right sneaker. But at least that off-Broadway store had those Adidas. Let's check on the clearance rack and we'll see from there. Look at, look at the Jungare colors. Look at purple, pink. Like, yeah, but I don't like that. I just want a plain white sneaker. Plain white sneaker. It's impossible. How much, how, what are you going to wear this with? Like, why? With anything like this. Nothing like that. Call me strange. Call me old school. Call me whatever you want. Call me not with the times. I personally don't see a reason to get a multicolored shoe. If it's not a plain white sneaker, I don't want it. Am I dumb for that? Am I strange for that? 
like those sneakers that I tried on earlier, they was amazing. The only problem was they felt a little tight on the top part. I always have that problem with Adidas. The top of my foot, where the shoelaces are, is like always like too tight on Adidas shoes. And they hurt me. So I would have to like break in those shoes really good so I don't wear Adidas no more. I went and I forced myself to wear the Adidas classics, whatever they're called, with the three black stripes on the sides. And I was in pain the whole way wearing those shoes. Even after a week, two weeks, a month, two months, they still hurt. So these shoes wasn't that bad, but I would just rather find a comfortable sneaker already that I don't gotta break in. How does this look, guys? Is this strange? I don't know. What you got there, Bob? It's a really big pretzel. Mmm. I got the baby pencil. <laughs> You want me to hold the bag? Eat slow, okay? Take small bites. What in La Costa? Uh, or La Costa? La Costa? I don't know. I really don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just going to call it La Costa. What in La Costa? And the stuff they have in there is basically caca. I guess because it's an outlet. Uh, like there's designs. There's alligator designs. But it's like on the belly. Like why? Why not right here or like where the Adidas logo is? Why is it right here? Like strange. Makes no sense. One hour later. Checking out this shoe. We got some Air Force Ones right here. We got the white with the black accent. You wanna see how the shoe looks? What do you think I should do? You think these are too small? They feel alright. Feeling any better? She's saying these ones might be too tight. <laughs> uh, people usually don't wear the same size in Air Force as like yeah. as a regular shirt. Buying myself some Nike Air Force Ones. How you doing? Oh, you, nice day, right? you too, boss. Thank you. DK Gajay Buggy. Happy New Year 2020. It's the year to rat. That's why I saw Menene Gage right now. Class. So, just got out of Foot Locker. Lena forced me to get the, these shoes. I got myself a pair of Nike Air Force Ones from Foot Locker. I didn't really want to. This way, Bob. I didn't want to give $90 on a sneaker. I don't like shopping for myself. So, I don't know if you guys realize that already. I'll give 500 on Lena's shoes. I'll go to casino and blow 300. But when it comes to buying stuff for myself, I never do it. So, got some Nike Air Force ones now. First time. I recording Scott's birthday. I don't know. Why? Do you record my birthday? No. Why? Your birthday smells. Lena's having coffee. We're just sitting down relaxing a little bit. Uh, this roof is like very weird in the mall. I don't know if it's all tented or if there's like a real ceiling above and this is just decoration. Kids are having a snack. What are you having? Didn't you have a pretzel? Yeah. Cookie and pretzel in one day. What are you drinking? Hey, don't drink it all. I never ate yet. We've been in the mall a little over two hours, two and a half hours, maybe even three. Not too sure exactly. 
I'll put a timestamp on the bottom of the video. I'll let you guys know exactly how long. But I'm starting to get nervous. I've been walking around too much. And I went to the gym yesterday and did like three miles on the treadmill. And then I never rested after that. I just kept going. I'm starving. I never ate breakfast. And I'm like contemplating on what to do. Trying to figure out what to do. Because we have to shop, we have to get outfits for tomorrow. And if we can't meet in the mall, we're scared of, I'll be honest with you, I'm even scared of being in this mall together. Scared to go to the food court, too much germs going around, too much diseases, too much coronas, too much butt lights. We have to wait till we get out of the mall. And we can't get out of the mall until this scene is done. Lena already got herself an outfit. I already got sneakers. So we just gotta wait for her to get for the kids now. And as soon as she's done getting the kids stuff, then I guess we'll be getting out of here. Not too sure. But let me explain. You see how I'm walking around for already? Like I could just sit still and record. Hey, what's up guys? But I'm walking around, I'm nervous and I'm pacing. It was fine. So Lena bought those little things for the kids at H&M. Uh, Lena said she don't want to wait anymore about the food situation. I said, let's just continue to shop. We'll eat later. Lena said no, I'm starving. I never ate today. But I never told her that. She just knows I never ate today. So we're going in Shake Shack. It just opened, apparently, at the end of Sawgrass Oasis area. So we're going to go check it out. Dikai lo jungle thing. Dikai lo jungle thing. Moram. Dikai lo. No good. What do we do? Just forks, you think? Pure raw. I always say well done when I go order cheeseburgers somewhere, but today like, I forgot. So I had to wait a little longer to get the kids' with cheeseburgers, but they got it. How's your food, Bobby? You like your food, Taylor? Lena got a chicken shack. Got a cheeseburger. Tasting a little bit French fries. Come on, diet. Shouldn't even be eating bread, but I'm like fed up right now, so I don't care. <laughs> If you guys want my evaluation, you don't have to take my word for it. This is just my personal opinion. I only ate to one amazing Shake Shack, and that was Aventura Mall upstairs at the new food court. I think it's called Treats area. That was called Treats. That was the only time I ever had like an amazing shake. Like this was good. Like it was a cut off. You ate a cheeseburger and French fries, but that's it. Shake Shack in Aventura was like, oh my god, what is this? This one was like a oh, regular. I guess that's why it's empty. Maybe that's why we're only people in there. I say five guys, hands down, best cheeseburger ever in a not a regular, like fast food kind of, in that like genre of food. Oh no, whatever, just five guys is best cheeseburger, followed by Burger 21. I ate Shake Shack in New York, in New Jersey, at Bridgewater Mall, I think, another mall, uh, Palisades Mall, I think. I had Shake Shack in quite a few places. Oh, in Orlando. Where was the mall we went with your sister? We had it. Shake Shack. What mall was it? Florida Mall. None of them can compare to Aventura Mall Shake Shack. Old Navy and Polo. Don't put me on there. Still in the mall. It is now like seven something. Uh, couldn't really find anything to wear. Lena said I have white short pants home. Uh, Lacosta short pants. So I'm gonna get this. Because Lena's wearing blue and the kids are wearing blue. And this is the closest color blue that matches their outfits. So we're all going to match tomorrow. 
Uh, hopefully after I pay for this in Burlington, we get out of here because I don't want to be in the mall anymore. But that's probably not going to happen because she didn't get the kids skirts yet. We're trying to find the kids white skirts. That's going to be fun. So it's just one of those days for me where oh, yeah. everything's like getting to me. Uh, not like I'm not like looking for a reason to be mad or anything like that. Uh, it's just like things are happening to me today that's unfortunate to say the least. Uh, like example, today I was supposed to get my money from a check. My father stood up all night last night. Now yesterday he was supposed to give me the money. He forgot. Whatever. It's my father. What am I gonna do? Today he couldn't go to the bank because he stood up all night. Uh, he said take thousand dollars off my credit card and I'll give you the rest later when you come home never happened I promise you I'm gonna go home and he's not gonna have the money and if he does you guys seen here on the vlog that I doubted him for no reason and you just gonna make fun of me if you want uh, came to the mall been walking around up and down since all day I went in line earlier to buy this but then Lena said we're not done yet come back I didn't know they was buying anything in the store. My legs are killing me because I walked from Oasis to Marshalls, back to Oasis, and now we're back inside the mall. Uh, my legs feel like I just walked Disney World. Basically, same feeling. We've been in the mall for about Four and a half, five hours now. We're nowhere near ready. That's what's, that's the problem. See, if we was walking out right now, it wouldn't be that bad. We're nowhere near ready. My back hurts. My legs hurt. I've been going to the gym. I've been working out. And then walking this whole mall twice, basically. Doesn't feel too good on the body. You know, all day you didn't kiss me today. But because I'm recording, but then you're kissing me. It's those corny actions. I love you too, but why you only kiss me when I'm recording video? Here we go again, round two. Waiting in line again. Second time in the store. I have white shorts, t-shirt, no stairs. Why do you look like that? Dante, I got new socks. There you go. It's a good thing Bobby blocked the whole video. Go ahead, Bobby. <laughs> Let me try. As you can tell, our feet hurt us pretty bad from walking in the mall all day. But thank God we're getting out of here now. So, tell uh, YouTube Taylor what Mama said. If Bobby going to sleep, I get to get a toy. And what happens if you go to sleep? Then Bobby's a toy. Lena made a rule. Uh, it's been working so far. The kids have been like slacking lately. Like they haven't been. Uh, 100% listening to us if that makes any sense like a couple things we've been saying like uh, five minutes later they'll just uh, do it again like they'll forget so we try to think me and Lena what could how could we make the kids listen to us for sure without no uh, side effects without no uh, forgetting 
and Lena came up with this. If Bobby's bad, then Taylor gets a toy. If Taylor's bad, then Bobby gets a toy. If they're both bad, then we hide the game or something. Now, Lena didn't make that part. I made that part. But you see, the kids are so scared that one another's going to get a toy without them that they actually the, it's actually working. Look how stupid this is. Taylor, if you're bad today, we're taking Bobby and we're buying her a toy. Then she'll like, she'll listen. Ain't that, ain't that strange? Ain't that weird? <laughs> 12 o'clock midnight. Hello. After the mall, after all that walking around that we did, like I explained to you, we went home and then we had to come to Walmart. So on the way to Walmart, I got myself spicy chicken nuggets from Wendy's because I haven't had spicy chicken nuggets for a long time and they just like brought them back in Florida. So I got their new ugly barbecue sauce that doesn't taste as good as the old barbecue sauce did, but whatever. Chilling out in Walmart. Got myself a can of soda. Living the good life. I don't think you guys want to see what we're buying. We're just buying food, like turkey and cheese and things right now. So that's it for me. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of G-Vlog. I'm Kevin Yannix. If you guys want to support the channel and buy its official G-Vlog t-shirt, this is the link right here. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out, my dudes. God bless.